gentlemen, you are all looking at a gym badge holder. Last episode, we absolutely destroyed the rock gym. Well, we didn't really destroy it because they he beat us the first time, but then we got him the second time easily. It was like it was cake. It was a cakewalk. But that's not all that happened in last episode. We also managed to evolve two of our Pokemon. We, we now have a Frigadier and a Swadloon, who are, are named Nami and, and Swadloon. Okay, so I've been pre-recording all of these videos because I'm going to be going on vacation very, very soon for like a week. So a lot of these videos are pre-recorded, which means I can't read any of your comments until they're uploaded, but none of them are uploaded yet. So... I don't have a nickname for Swad Loon, and I feel like I should. He definitely should have a nickname by now. And you guys probably left nicknames in the comments, but I just haven't seen them because while I'm recording this, none of the other videos have been up yet, if that makes any sense. But anyway, what I want to do today is, of course, proceed a little bit further into the adventure of this map. In last episode, we found out that there is a division between the Stone Lean City and the Joltville City. So hopefully we can find out a little bit more about that. But before we do get to the next town, we're going to have to go through this really, really, really thick with three C's jungle. And looks like there's a Tropius there. That would actually be an awesome catch. But unfortunately, we already do have a Grass-type Pokemon. So I don't think it'd be the smartest thing in the world to get two of them. So I'm probably just going to hold off on that. But anyway, to get through here, it seems like all we have to do is drop our badge. And then, boom! Dude, that is actually so cool. Down goes the fence. And then looks like we can pick it up here. And bang! So now we have access to Stone Lean City. And then we can go straight into the jungle. Oh, there's a level 28 Mankey? Level, like, level 28 is actually really, really high. As you can see, that is, would easily be my highest level. Mine's only 21 right now. That actually does remind me, though. Let's go and buy some more Pokeballs. Maybe get some Great Balls as well while we're at it. This way we can catch some of these Pokemon because I definitely do want to start filling out my team a little bit more because only three Pokemon just is not enough. Dude, Great Balls are so much more expensive than... Like, this is three times more... Like, this is over three times the amount of one... Like, I can buy three Pokeballs for less than one Great Ball. So I kind of feel like it's worth it just to buy a bunch of Pokeballs. Like, how much better are Great Balls than Pokeballs, realistically? I mean, obviously they're better, but are they three times better? Am I really three times as likely? Oh, well, it's over three. Am I over three times as likely to catch a Pokemon with a Great Ball than a Pokeball? I don't think so. I mean, there are statistics showing whether that is true or false. But from from my experience, I don't I don't think that's that would be the case. But anyway, it looks like all the Pokemon here are a little bit lower level than this Mankey over here. Like level 28 Mankey is actually really high. I'm gonna I'm gonna try to catch him. I don't should I try? I don't know. Uh, well let, let let's see what happens. Let's try to catch him. It's definitely gonna be tough. He's gonna one shot everything in my party. Well, actually no, he won't one shot like my my Froakie and stuff. I did want to send out Thor though so that he would get a lot of XP. Wait what? What did he just use? I tried to switch out, and then he was like, Nah, I'm gonna kill you before you do. What the heck was that? What move did he just use? What in the world? Let's go for a quick attack. We might get him into the right. That was actually a critical hit as well, which is perfect. And so now, we're down to our Swadloon, which gives us like one or maybe two chances to catch this dude. It's not looking very good, I'm not gonna lie, ladies and gentlemen. But there's a chance. There's a chance that we can catch this dude, and if we do, our team would be so much better, and oh, we actually got him, dude! I just kept on talking because I assumed that it wasn't gonna catch, and I was talking about other things, but it actually worked, dude. Are you serious? Let's go! We have level 28 Mankey. What level does he evolve? It's gotta be soon. I think I feel like it's level 35 for some reason. Regardless, though, Primeape is a really good Pokemon. Hello, hello there. Um, I don't think that I stand a chance against you. But we can, sure can try. Okay, that Leer didn't do anything. I guess we'll just go for some cross chops, see what happens. And, and, and we're paralyzed. Lovely. Cross chop doesn't really do anything. All right, so this is not good, boys and ladies and gentlemen. We definitely are not going to win this battle. So far, we found like four, maybe even five bosses at this point, And we still haven't been able to beat any of them, which is really unfortunate because I feel like we could definitely get some good loot from it, especially from that one. We would have gotten a Mega Stone from that Manectric, but unfortunately, uh, our, our team just still is not quite good enough yet to defeat any of them. But anyway, here we have a trainer. Let's try to get Thor some levels. I mean, he's only level 12. He definitely needs to improve if we want to keep him in the squad. And this is not the best place for him to improve, if I'm, if I'm being honest with you guys, because this is all going to be Grass-type Pokemon, Bug-type Pokemon, which, I mean, oh yes, he's learning Spark, finally, dude. Literally, I've been waiting for him to learn Spark for so long. All right, let's learn for baby doll eyes. There we go. That is so 
freaking amazing. You have no idea. Pursuit. Let's beat this dude in one move. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. And he's got another guy. We can just cross chop that later, dude. And he's got another Pokemon. Okay, this guy's got a ton of Pokemon. I probably should have put Thor in to get some more XP, but whatever. It's all good. Oh, Thor is evolving. What the heck? I thought that he evolved a little bit later, but let's go, dude. Here we go. I mean, I just finished a battle. I had no idea that he was going to evolve. And there we go. We now have a Luxray. That is absolutely sick. Or Luxio, rather. He evolves into Luxray after. Boom. And Mankey's evolving, too. What in the world is happening? Oh, no, dude. So there's a glitch where when a Pokemon is fainted in your party, they don't actually evolve at the end of battles. That is so frustrating, man. I don't know why that's a th I don't know how they haven't fixed that yet, to be honest. But so now we have to literally just cancel it, which is really frustrating. But that's okay. At least I know that he levels or evolves on the next level. Oh, is that the next town? Go away. I don't want to fight anything else. My whole party is injured. Stop it. And there we go. Vi Vinland City for like vines, you know, vine, vine is, yeah, Vineland, Vinland. I get it. I, it all, it's, you know, everything is makes sense. It's good. Good stuff. What is this? Is this the gym? This is the gym. Your memory from Stone League? This is the, okay, so this is a bug type gym. Sweet. Well, where is the Pokemon Center? I thought that was the Pokemon Center. That's why I stormed in there like that. I gotta find it, though, so I can heal my team. Well, anyway, it seems like the second gym is a bug type. Hopefully, they're bug and grass. Well, actually, it doesn't really matter. Bug type is pretty neutral against me. So, I don't really know how I feel about that. I guess it should be a good fight in the end. But, uh, I would like to evolve my Mankey now that I know that he does evolve in the next level. So, that would be very, obviously, very helpful for the team. Oh, there's a Mega Beedrillite. What the heck? I'm sure. Yeah, thank you. What the, what in the world? Awesome. Ooh, so there's actually like an entire treehouse area to this town. Okay, that, I almost died. Is that a volcano? Oh my god, dude, there's a volcano later on in the map. This is actually like the, all, the easily the best adventure map I've ever done. Really, really enjoying myself. I do want to see a little bit more of like the storyline development. And I think that we are going to see that a little bit later. But for now... I guess that we should just continue to tear through these gyms until we get there. And here is the Pokemon Center, which is a beautiful thing. Hello there. Thank you very much, Dr. John, for healing my Pokemon free of charge. Oh, we found another Mega Stone. This is all right. Let's go, dude. That's actually crazy. That makes me want to catch a, uh, a, 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 a Scyther now. Because like I said, I saw one earlier. And then what? We need like a metal coat? Do we have to tra Yeah, I think we have to trade it with the metal coats. I'm not sure we could actually get a Scyther or not. Spying on my crush is a great way to spend the afternoon. Lovely, dude. That's really creepy. Don't do that, guys and girls. Not a good idea. You know what? The Scyther's still actually here. I guess we could go ahead and try to catch him and see... See if we can get him to evolve into a Caesar because Caesar is really good. It's a really good Pokemon. So I would love to have him on the team, especially a Mega Caesar, because I don't know if we're going to get any other Mega Stones throughout the series. I have no idea, but it would be really neat to get a Mega Caesar. But after we do catch it to the next thing on the agenda is to get our Mankey one more level. This way he evolves into the Primeape, and there we go. There is that. And we are learning Bite. Wonderful. So Thor is now level 18. He's made some serious progress in today's episode. Oh wait, is this like my, who is, is this James or something? It is James. Oh hey Cyrus, it's cool to see you here. I lost my first gym battle a couple of times, but I eventually beat Geo. I'm gonna challenge this one next, so what do you say? Wanna see who's stronger between us? Yeah dude, let's freaking do it man. It's been a little while since I battled this little clown. I gotta teach him a nice little lesson. Let's go ahead and uh, we'll start off with Thor, who's our worst Pokemon. Well actually I guess Caesar is as of now. But you know, I just wanna, I, I wanna, I wanna scare him with my worst Pokemon. And then he's going to be like, holy cow, that was, you know, you know what? I, okay, I'm going to kick it off with my worst. He's going to be like, oh my gosh, what's happening? And if he ever defeats Thor, which it doesn't look like he will, then I'll whip out like Nami or something. And then he's going to freak out. Oh, he has a Thor of, of his own. That is, int hello. It's like that Spider-Man, you know, that Spider-Man meme where they're like, where they're pointing at each other. That's what this is. Anyway, let's go to Mankey. Mankey should honestly one-shot this thing. He's almost double its level, which is insane. And, um, yeah, let's, and that, that's it. Boom. That was that was easy. Can I fight you again, by the way? I can only battle you once in Minecraft today. Well, at least I know I can battle you again, like, tomorrow or something. Because that was really good levels. And I'm sure if I use Mankey throughout the entire fight, I might actually be able to level him up in that one fight. Ooh, you know what? Aldinos give a ton of levels. Now, they're only level 9 here. But... 
Still, it might be a decent way to level up our Mankey. And there we go. Mankey is evolving and I cannot zoom out. Can I get a better angle? <laughs> there we go. We're gonna have our best Pokemon of the team in Primate. Let's freaking go, dude. He's really gonna... Ooh, punishment. Actually, no, he was learning this move earlier. I didn't really want to learn it. And Rage? Nah, I'm all right. But boom! That is actually amazing. We now have a level 30 Primeape in the squad. He's really tiny. I'm pretty sure the Mankey was bigger than him. I'm not really sure what that's about. <laughs> so guys, I was going to not battle the gym and save it for next episode, but I feel like not really much has happened in this episode. Oh my goodness, this is going to take forever to figure out which one's the right one. Please be you. Oh my gosh. It's the exact same thing as last time. But anyway, as I was saying, I don't feel like too much has really happened in today's video and today's episode quite yet. Like, we haven't seen any, like, story development or really much go on. Other than we got a couple of evolutions, which was really cool. I just feel like there needs to be a little bit more. So we are going to challenge the gym. Whether we beat it or not, I, I have no idea. Oh my gosh, which one is this? This is insane. But I do feel like we have a really good chance now that we have a level 30 Primeape. I think that he's probably going to be able to destroy anything that they throw at me. And what is going on? Like, actually, hold on. Oh, we made it to something. What is this? If I... Nope. What just... Oh, wait. Did I make it to the next level? I have no idea. I have no idea what's going on. I feel... I guess I'm supposed to battle these guys. I really didn't feel like it, but... If they looked at me, and that's my rule. If they look at me, I have to battle them. So, that's what we're doing. I'm now on the third floor of this thing. Oh my gosh, this is taking forever. And there we go. Finally, 10 years later, we made it through this entire gym. This was easily the most painful gym ever to get through. But, uh, we're finally here. So, I, I'm hoping that it's worth it and we can destroy this dude on our first try. Hello there. He's got a Joel tick. He's probably going to go for a sticky web, to be honest. Which is not a good thing for me. I'm actually going to try to save this guy. Well, let's go to Scyther here. Because I feel like... Our Thor might be able to be like do better against other Pokemon. Like he might have a bug flying type, and that would be perfect for Thor, obviously. And Scyther's good against this guy, regardless. Okay, well that 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 no well that never mind. The only issue maybe with going to Primeape here is he might get paralyzed, and that would just stink. Oh, and he avoids the attack. Of course he does, because why wouldn't he? Why would he not avoid the attack? You know what I mean? All right, come on. Boom. Not very effective, but still gets the job done. Now he's got a Shed Ninja. I don't think that this actually affects him. Maybe Pursuit. Pursuit would be good against it, and it is. And there we go. Right. Oh, a shiny Heracross. Okay, I see you flexing out here, dude. I see you working. But unfortunately for you, I have a level 30 Primeape, which unfortunately for you means that you're going to get wrecked. So, uh, GG, man. And there we go. We won the battle. Give me that sweet old shiny badge called the Hive Badge. And we also get U-Turn. Lovely, lovely, lovely. So there we go. That's two gyms taken out in back-to-back -back episodes. Who would have thought? What is this? What the heck is that? Oh, it's just a bunny. Okay. Well, anyway, guys, that's going to be it for today. I hope that you all did enjoy today's video. If you did, be sure to slap a like, subscribe if you're new. And yeah, so far, we've been progressing really, really quickly. We're only on episode number four. I, th I, th I think this is number four. And we've already defeated two gyms. So I really like the pace that this is going at. Um, And I hope that you guys are enjoying. If you are, of course, like, subscribe, comment, all that stuff. And uh, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Lotter, alligators.